So what we conclude from a behavioral analysis of the known forensics is the following. The suspect is likely a white male in his late 20s to late 30s. He likely is not a college graduate, but feels nonetheless superior to those with advanced education. And he is likely employed in a bureaucratic entity, possibly civil service or quasi-public service, from which he feels alienated. He has a problem with authority and a deep-seated resentment of those who he feels have impeded his progress professionally. The minimized sexual activity suggests that this is not a primary motive for the killings. In fact, the bite marks in the last found victim, lacking the DNA of saliva, indicate to us possible post-mortem staging. The suspect has trouble with lasting relationships and is possibly a high-functioning alcoholic, with alcohol being utilized as a trigger in the commission of these crimes. His resentment of the homeless may stem from a personal relationship with someone who was in that cohort, or his victimization of vagrants might merely present an opportunity for him to assert his superiority and intellectual prowess. You can get more, fax it down, and we can update the profile. Special Thanks for everything. Thanks. So, what do you think? They're in the ballpark. 